One Piece chapter 870 review. Oh man, two things about this chapter too. That ending and Sanji's character. Fuck, that was awesome. I love this chapter. Okay, so basically, the chapter is pretty simple and those two things is what made this chapter really good. Um, you have Big Mom still beating the crap out of uh, Beach and the castle is taking some damage. And the thing is, we find out that not even cannons can uh, cause any damage to the castle. And it just goes to show how, uh, again, how strong Big Mom is. And Beach is taking some major damage. And uh, the thing is, like, I like how uh, Oda tries to stick to the plan of, like, oh, like, because Nami and Brooke and Chopper, uh, they tell... Uh, Luffy, hey, you can't go out there and fight Big Mom and the rest of them to try and protect Beach. We only came here to get Sanji. We accomplished that. We saved his family, and we have Sanji now in our in our in our hands. We need to get out of here. If you have time to fight, you have time to figure out a way of a plan for us to escape with our lives. Otherwise, we're gonna get destroyed. And and I think that that's good because uh, Luffy is able to listen and understand. But then he also recognizes, okay, so what do we do? Uh, Beach is over there taking damage. And the, the we're pretty much surrounded, so let's come up with a plan. And Capone once again comes up with his own plan. plan. What, Capone's been like on point lately, like his feats. He's so impressive to me, and I really like him as one of the supernovas. Like he has a great uh, castle, which is pretty awesome. Great defenses, and he's always coming up with plans on the fly. And he, he his feats back up his hype. And Capone has just been like a really cool character to me this whole arc. So he comes up with a plan because the thing is like he can't go down with the ship otherwise he's gonna lose his son and uh, and daughter and not daughter I'm sorry his wife who is Big Mom's daughter which was kind of sad how she came up and kind of like asked for forgiveness from Big Mom and she said you look like Lola how many times have I told you not to show me that ugly face uh, and so you were part of this plan and you knew about it you're not gonna escape this easily and I kind of understand where Big Mom's coming from because the fact that you knew that your husband was gonna kill Big Mom and you didn't tell her about it, do you really expect Big Mom to forgive you for that? Because she hates traitors no matter who you are, son, daughter, longtime friend, you're gonna go down. So the fact that she asked for forgiveness, the daughter, that like she was expecting something, I mean, she knows Big Mom the best. I mean, I guess you can try, you might as well just, you know, you know, let me try and see if Big Mom will have any sympathy for us, but nope, because she has her son right there. And so Capone, it goes to show how close he is to his family and his subordinates. He doesn't give a shit about what happens to Luffy and Jinbei and the rest of them. But the fact is that in order for them to leave, in order for for them to all uh, get out of their life, they have to cooperate. So the plan is they're gonna uh, Capone's gonna go back to his regular size, but everyone's still gonna be inside of him except for Caesar. He's gonna fly everyone out, and it kind of sucks to be Caesar because he's always been put on the spot. He's always, his life is always in danger. But no matter what, either that or you get your heart squeezed. And so that's pretty much the plan. Now, the big part of this chapter was you have Judge coming up to Sanji. Hey, why did you save us? You know, we pretty much fell for the trap hook, line, and sinker. And initially, when I thought Sanji had said, oh, my boss wouldn't have enjoyed that or he wouldn't have supported that, I thought he was talking about Luffy, which also would have made, you know, pretty much good sense. The fact that Sanji would would be would be okay with his family dying. But no, he was talking about his boss in, uh, in um, uh, back at the restaurant. Uh, and... I was like, oh, that's right, I forgot about that. And he would not have, uh, if he would have done that, there's no way he would have looked him in the eye when he had returned to him. And he basically tells the judge, like, you were the one that wanted, didn't want any part of me. You, you, told, you told me to not tell anyone that I was ever your son. So tell me that I'm not your son, Vince Smoke Judge. And they have that, that awesome panel and he like yells at him and he says, this is what you wanted. And you know, I got nothing to do with you. I never wanted nothing to do with you. You tried to accept me back as a son, but you told me to never be part of this family game because I was an embarrassment. And then, like, he's like, he brings, has, like, Vince Smoke down on his knees and he's yelling at him. And I think it's, like, fucking awesome. Then Judge, he comes to the point where he's like, okay, I understand. I swear I'll never confront you or New Blue or, uh, or New Blue ever again. And they turn around. And pretty much, I think, what the Vince Smokes are doing, they're, they're, they understand the situation. And they don't have to give like too much of an explanation. They know that Sanji pretty much saved him, and they're they're still in his debt, and they don't like to be in in debt to a failure who they still consider a failure. And so what they're gonna do is that they're gonna go out and try to stop and hold off Big Mom as Caesar flies away because 
as as we get to know more of the Vince Smokes, we understand they hate being in debt. As assassins, they don't like to be in the, in the debt of another person, and the fact that they have to owe someone. So they're gonna try and do their best to get out of that, and not be in debt to Vince Smoke Sanji, who you know they see as a failure, except for Reiju, which I love Reiju. Like, but I have this bad feeling something's gonna happen to one of the Vince Smokes. And I just have a feeling it's going to be her. Maybe. Someone's, I think someone's, I've been saying that someone's going to end up losing their life. And I still have my money on, on uh, Reiju being number one. So what was, I, what was great about this chapter two, with not just Sanji's character, was the execution of how it's being done. They go out and they're trying to uh, hold off Big Mom. And in the panels, they show them like shot by shot of uh, the Vinsmoke family fighting the Big Mom pirates. And you have Caesar trying to fly away with Capone. And the way they have Sanji and uh, Luffy jump in is that they, you see like uh, Lu Luffy's arm coming out of a uh, 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 beach and you see uh, Sanji's leg coming out of him and you see Gomu Gomu Diablo and Diable or something, I, I forget what it's called. And they both fight off Big Mom's punch as she's trying to get uh, Reiju. And she probably, Reiju might have died if it weren't for that interference. And it, it was just so awesome because in earlier in the chapter you have Sanji telling Luffy not to go out there, but he only meant that for Luffy, not for Sanji himself. And then they both, them being alpha males, they decide to just ignore those orders or those thoughts because that just goes against their character, their personality. Luffy and Sanji are not ones to stand on the sidelines. They even said so itself at the end of the chapter. So they both fight off Big Mom, and here's how the battle's going down. You have the Big Mom pirates versus the Vinsmoke family and Luffy and Sanji. And I really hope Jimbi gets into this, but to me, they're fighting a losing battle here. Uh, but here's what I see is gonna happen. They're gonna try and fight them off and they're gonna try and escape somehow with the Vince Monk family flying away with uh, Luffy and Sanji. That's how I see this going. And that's the only way I see them getting out of this alive because right now they just have to create some cover for Caesar to try and take the rest of them away. And you see Nami and Brooke like freaking out like all oh, those fucking aides actually went out there. But is there any, uh, what did you expect? You know, it's Sanji and Luffy and that was just awesome Like the the hype for the next chapter is like real and I can't wait I did not read the I didn't I didn't check and see if it was on break next week And I hope it isn't I'm gonna go check right now actually so this chapter I'll give it a 4.5 out of 5 star. It's really awesome. It was cool when you see Luffy's uh, uh, Alephanto uh, third uh, gear third punching Big Mom's attack and also with Sanji's attack, but I want Jimby to get in on this. I think if Jimby gets in on this, they have a better chance of escaping. Hope you guys liked the review. If you guys like my videos, please subscribe or like my Facebook page. Bye!